Apple is about to make its biggest smart home move since the original HomePod. And according to reports, the company is developing a six inch wall mounted command center that would act as the brain for your smart home. Combining control, automation, and Apple intelligence, this could mark the moment when Apple finally challenges Amazon and Google in the smart home arena. In this video, I'll break down exactly what the command center does, how it fits into the Apple ecosystem, and what you can expect from this upcoming release. Stay tuned. So why now? For many years, Apple's smart home efforts have felt like an afterthought, and it was just limited to the home app and a few other accessories like the HomePod. Well, this is all about to change. According to PC World, Apple's renewed focus on the smart home innovation is being driven by Apple Intelligence, the company's new ambitious AI framework. And as this technology expands across devices, Apple needs a dedicated hub to showcase how AI can unify your home experience. Also on that note, Matter, the new universal smart home standard, also plays a major role in this shift. With Matter enabling devices from different brands to work together seamlessly, Apple now has a stronger foundation to build upon. Instead of playing catch up, Apple is positioned itself to become the command center for every smart home device in your home, no matter who makes it. Point number two, the rumored command center. At the center of Apple's smart home revival is the new command center device, a six inch wall mounted display that can also sit on a tabletop dock. Think of it as a blend between an iPad mini and a Nest Hub, but fully integrated within the Apple ecosystem. This device was to act as a centralized panel for lighting, climate, cameras, and entertainment. Instead of pulling out your phone, you'd simply tap or talk to the wall unit to manage your entire home. Reports also suggest that it could feature multi-user recognition, allowing the display to personalize the interface for each family member through facial identification. In essence, Apple is designing a true household brain, one that can control, monitor, and automate everything in your stay. Apple is really creating a true household brain, one that can control, monitor, and automate everything in your space while staying visually elegant and easy to use. Point number three, Apple's entry into security devices. Beyond the display, Apple appears to be exploring a new line of smart security products, including home cameras. These devices would integrate seamlessly with Apple's privacy-first approach, offering end-to-end -end encryption on device AI processing and deep links to the home app. This move into security hardware is significant because it marks Apple's first attempt to create a complete and vertically integrated smart home ecosystem. In the past, Apple's relied on third-party manufacturers to fill the gaps. Now, it seems like they might be ready to take it under full control, while delivering a unified experience where camera, command center, and Siri all work together flawlessly. Point number four, how AI and Matter all fit in together. One of the most exciting aspects of Apple's 2025 smart home strategy is how Matter and Apple intelligence will converge. Matter ensures compatibility with devices from other ecosystems like Amazon A or Google Home, while Apple Intelligence will use AI to learn your preferences and automate your environment. For example, your command center might recognize that you always lower the lights and set the thermostat to 72 degrees before bed. Over time, your Siri assistant could proactively suggest or even perform those actions for you. Rather than just a series of disconnected automations, Apple envisions a living home system that gets it smarter the more you use it. And this combination, along with cross-platform compatibility powered by personal AI, is how Apple could finally break through the limitations that it's held on its smart home ecosystem and take over the market. Point five, how to prepare your home now. If you wanna be ready for Apple's smart home upgrade, there's a few practical steps that you can take today. First, make sure your devices are Matter compatible or consider upgrading to products that are. This will ensure that they work smoothly with Apple's new ecosystem once the command center launches. We want you to get more comfortable with how Apple structures control of scenes and routines. And third, keep your software updated across iPhone, iPad, and HomePod. Apple may roll out some early previews of the system through a software update, even before this becomes a hardware launch itself. And finally, avoid overcommitting to other closed ecosystems that might not integrate well later. Flexibility will give you a head start when Apple's AI hardware and AI comes together. Flexibility will give you a head start when Apple's hardware and AI integrations officially arrive. Now, let's talk about my concluding thoughts. Apple's 2025 smart home strategy signals a major turning point. 
by combining AI, hardware, and software under one roof, the company could redefine how we live with our technology at home. The upcoming command center, AI-driven automations, and native secu security devices all point to one clear message. Apple wants to make your home not just smart, but intelligently personal. And if you're serious about preparing your Apple setup for the next wave of innovation, click the first link in the video description to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. I'll walk you through how to future-proof your home and make sure that your devices are ready when Apple's ecosystem expands. So now that you know more about Apple's 2025 smart home strategy, you probably wanna know about more what happens behind the scenes. In this next video, we'll explore Apple's home OS and Charismatic, the operating system, the software foundation that could make Siri the center of your connected life. Watch that video next and we'll see how these pieces come together. Thanks so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.